Hi, and welcome to this new video about YubiKey. And now we're going to look at how to secure your Google account with YubiKey. As you can see, we have not enabled the two-step verification. I have wholly uh, recovery email. And to use uh, YubiKey, you just need to enable this two-step verification. So just click and you have a brief introduction on why you should protect your account with two-step verification. And then you can click get started to add your YubiKey. Now, the first option provided is using your phone with a text message or a phone call, but we all know that uh, having SMS uh, two-factor authentication is not the best option, probably is the weakest. So we're going to show more option and select security key to add a security key. Now the site asks you to make sure your key, your key is with you, but not connected to your device, but it's not important. I've already inserted my YubiKey in a USB port, so I can press next and the site is gonna detect my key and I say, okay. And um, the, this is the standard warning. Uh, this will let Google Com see the make and model of your security key. I press okay, it's fine for me. And then I need to enter my pin. And now, since the pin is correct, I can touch my key. And everything is done. Just add a name, test key, and press done. The key is now present in your account. How you sign to Google? Security key, one key. Now, when you need to log in again to your Google account, you can select your account and you have no passwordless option. So I need to enter my password and then I have the ability to use my key as second factor authentication and I don't need to type the pin, only touch the key and I'm in because as uh, I told you before, I needed to enter username and password, and then I can use the key as a second factor of authentication. So since this is not a passwordless login where I can use only my key, the pin is usually not required. So I need to use username and password as usual. And then instead of using an SMS or a Google Authenticator or everything else, I can simply touch my YubiKey and the second factor authentication let me enter into my account. Now, there is an important thing to notice that Google tells me that I have security recommendation. And this happens because I've enabled two-factor authentication, but I've added only one key. So this is the only second factor of authentication I have. If I uh, lose the key, my account is locked because I have no any other second factor of authentication to access my account. So it's now time to set a backup. Uh, and the site proposed me to add the phone number, but I think that the phone is the weakest one. So I prefer using other methods. From your security setting of your account, you can add more signing options. So you can have a Google prompt, a two-step verification phone, but you can use a standard authenticator um, application, the standard one with the QR code or the backup code. So. First of all, I'm strongly suggesting you to click the backup code and generate the backup codes. So these are the most useful way to avoid being cut off from your account. You can get backup codes and I have a series of backup codes that I can use instead of a second factor of authentication. I can store this backup code in some place secure and then I'm sure that if I lose my key, I can use one of this code to enter into my account and to add another key. Now, Google is happy and tells me that my account is protected. I can look at the details and I have my device. I have two-step verification turned on and I have at least two different way of having a two-factor authentication, my security key and my backup code. Now, usually when you have YubiKey, you have at least two key, and that's because you want to avoid uh, losing one key and have to use um, codes or other stuff. So when you enable your first key, you can, you can look at your uh, menu 
where you have your two-step verification. If you click on two-step verification, you can add other way of logging, such as Authenticator app or Google prompts in your phone or the voice or text message. I strongly does not suggest you to enable this, but you can always go to your security key section where you can add how many security key you want. So if you have your second, your second security key, Yubico or Titan or anyone else, you can add the security key, repeat the very same procedure as before and adding another key. So if you lost one of the two key, you have always the other to access your account without resorting to the backup codes. But remember, backup codes are useful. I strongly suggest you to generate a set of backup codes and my suggestion, do absolutely, do not store the code recovery code in the same place you store your password, such as your password manager, because if an attacker can crack your password manager, they have your password as well as recovery codes. So recovery codes need to be stored somewhat in, in, a, same, in a safe place. You can uh, print in a piece of paper and keep into your office on, in, or into your home to avoid being digitally compromised. And so it is very, very common to have at least a couple of key on your account, so you don't need to resort to use your recovery codes. And that is pretty much all you need to know to use your YubiKey uh, as a second factor of authentication for your Google account. Remember, we have a great difference between a Microsoft account because in Microsoft account, you can use the key as second factor of authentication. So it is asked after you enter a correct username or password, or you can use as a single, as a passwordless authentication. So you can plug your key, type your PIN because it is important, touch the key and you are in without username and password. In Google, as you saw before, you always need to enter your username and password and then the key is only the second factor of authentication, but it's very, very convenient. Uh, it's much more convenient than um, classic uh, um, authenticator application because you don't need your phone, you don't need anything, just plug the key into a USB or if you are on a phone, touch with your NFC chip and you're in. I hope you like the video and See you on the next video on my Ubico series. Bye-bye.